Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nisha here. The OnePlus Note is hands down one of the most awaited phones for a long time now. Uh, OnePlus has been teasing this phone on their Instagram page, OnePlus Note, uh, one by one until the AR launchment day. This is classic OnePlus style. Uh, they would launch. This is classic OnePlus style. They'd reveal the spec sheet one by one uh, until the launch event, and then they'd reveal everything, including the price. So in this video, we'll be looking at the spec sheet of the OnePlus Node, some of my thoughts of the OnePlus Node, and things like that. Quick disclaimer, this video is not a hands-on OnePlus Node review or a first impression. Uh, I don't have the OnePlus Node with me uh, right now for this video, but this video is based on my thoughts for the OnePlus Node and the spec sheet and some of the things that the OnePlus Node has compromised and should you consider the OnePlus Node, that kind of video. First of all, let's let's clarify the name. The meaning of Node is North. So OnePlus has revealed uh, a series called uh, New Beginnings. In the series, uh, they are showcasing the design process, the thought process of the OnePlus Node. Uh, it's kind of like a three-episode series. It's it's short. It's been on IGTV. It's been on uh, YouTube and all of that. Uh, yeah, it's a new beginning for them, and that's what they say. But yeah, Node means North. Let's get into the fun part, the specs. Uh, I'm pretty sure you might have already heard about the specs. If you're into tech at all, you might have heard this a thousand times, but for those who have not, let me read through the spec sheet. The Note features a 6.4 inch fluid AMOLED display with 90 hertz refresh rate, that, that's cool. And the processor that they have used in the OnePlus Note is a Snapdragon 765G, which has support for 5G. Though Indian customers are not gonna get 5G anytime soon, I hope. Uh, still, yeah, this phone is 5G ready so that in the future, if you're getting your hands on 5G phone and a 5G connector area, you can use 5G in this phone. That That's a good touch. You have Android 10 with Oxygen OS 10 in this phone. That That's good because, as you all know, Oxygen OS is very optimized for OnePlus phones and that is very cool since uh, the mid-ranger has also got those optimizations. This phone comes in three storage variants. So. 6GB RAM with 64GB variant, 8GB uh, RAM with 128GB variant, and a 12GB RAM with 256GB storage variant. 12GB RAM is cool because in mid-range phones we usually don't get to see 12GB RAM, uh, though I suspect that the speed and the frequency of the RAM will be a bit slow, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but 12GB RAM is a big number to have in your hand. Now let's talk about the camera, Th this is that camera or quad camera is a name and maybe three of those cameras are pretty useful. Let's take a look at that. So the OnePlus Note shares the same camera with the OnePlus 8 and that is the 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor. Uh, that's a that's a pretty good sensor because uh, this is the same thing which the OnePlus 8 uses and that is pretty cool to see uh, that they have used the same thing in the OnePlus Note 2. And the secondary camera is the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and then there's a 5 megapixel depth sensing camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. You all know how we feel about macro camera. That's what I mentioned earlier. In four cameras, mostly three cameras are useful and the one rest camera is it's just for the namesake. We'll just leave that. Okay, so let's get into the dual front cameras. That is cool, dual front cameras. There's a 32 megapixel main shooter and an 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter. That's definitely a cool thing to have if you don't own a selfie stick or if you want to take group selfies quickly. That that's a good touch. And now here's the weird part. The the rear camera, the main camera, can shoot 4K at 30 FPS, but the front camera can shoot 4K at 60 FPS. I don't know why that happens. Maybe OnePlus can fix that in a software update or something. But this is how it is for the time being. And then there's an underscreen fingerprint scanner which is optical and it's pretty fast. There's a 4115 mAh battery and then a 30 watt fast charger include which is the Warp Charge 30T from OnePlus. There are two main color variants in this phone. There's this blue marble color and then the famous Onyx Black. Let's look at some of my thoughts on this phone. OnePlus has chose to take the 700 series processor Maybe due to cost cutting and so, uh, we have seen some Poco phones from Xiaomi which features uh, 800 series uh, chipsets in a budget phone. But this is what you get with the OnePlus Note. OnePlus says that this is not going to be an issue for performance because 
uh, yeah, first thing we know that Oxygen OS is pretty optimized for OnePlus phones and that itself is a good thing to have. And then uh, they don't use a lot of blobware and uh, things like that. That is a good touch too. And finally, and finally, this phone offers a ton of RAM, which means that uh, multitasking and app management and gaming, things like that, would be pretty cool in this phone. Though 5G is not available everywhere, it is a good touch to have in a mid-range phone. And then we have an AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate. 90Hz is a good thing to see in a mid-range phone. Though it is running on Oxygen OS, some things are a compromise. It's not OnePlus. The communications app, mainly the phone app and the messages app, are Google. Don't know why, but they chose to go with Google Messages and Communication app. And then there are things like 12GB RAM, which, uh, yeah, it's I don't know how fast it is. I don't know what kind of RAM and what frequency they have used in the RAM. But I think it's going to be a pretty big number to hold in your hands. So, so yeah, 12GB RAM, doesn't matter how slow, is 12GB RAM. And then dual front-facing cameras are also pretty rare in this price range. Uh, that is cool to have if you want to take group selfies a lot. And then the battery capacity, OnePlus Node has a 4000 plus million power battery. It's cool, it charges fast with the Warp Charge 30T technology. But there are some caveats for a very nice phones, like if there's a long hike, there is a fall. OnePlus Node has something like that too. It doesn't have an official IP rating, which at this price point, you don't expect to have. That is part of cost cutting. And also, uh, this phone is not available in every region. Uh, if you're an Indian customer, you have access to OnePlus Node, you can buy a OnePlus Node. But if you're in countries like the North America, you don't have a OnePlus Node available there. At least right now. The OnePlus Node is available in something like 21 countries at the time uh, of shooting this video. But I don't think people are too crazy to import these phones from India or places like that uh, just for using this phone. Let's look at the pricing of this phone. For the 6GB RAM variant, uh, the price starts at 24 Uh I think this variant is only for India because uh, I searched up Google, I searched up everywhere and I couldn't find a Euro equivalent to this price because uh, OnePlus itself has not uh, said that this phone, the 6GB RAM variant uh, is available everywhere because the pricing is only shown in Indian rupees. So there's that uh, and then for the 8GB RAM variant, you pay 28,000 rupees or 399 euros and that's a base price for other countries I guess and then there's a 30,000 rupee variant or a 499 euro equivalent and that's the variant in which you get 12 GB RAM. Anyway the OnePlus Note is going to be a pretty good pick if you want to buy a phone which is under 30,000 rupees or 499 euros. It's going to be a crazy phone. It's having a lot of RAM. Uh, it earned a lot of hype. And we'll have to see how the phone performs in real world. Anyway, that's been it for my thoughts about the OnePlus Note. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for future notifications of the videos. And also like and share this video maximum to everyone that you know of. And until we meet the next time, goodbye.